Amen. Bwana asifiwe kanisa. So I'm glad for this opportunity for just for youth Bible exposition. Eh um, mtansamee kwa sauti yangu imeenda host kidogo. Bwana asifiwe. So kama sisi vijana last week we were glad to share about what to do or what to deal with the doubts. So the topic of the day or the Bible exposition topic is what to do with the doubt. Uh, like tumekuja kanisani ndio but at the end of the day we, we do not have faith in God. Wakati magonjwa yanatokea we try to make to think in our own ways. Bwana asifiwe. But the Bible Bible inatukumbusha like what what what's the really meaning of doubt? A feeling of uncertainty or lack of conviction. Praise God. Another meaning is fear or be afraid. But the Bible is against being afraid or being fear. Praise God. So, according to the Bible exposition, I'm going to read a few of the verses. But at the end of the topic nitakuachia maswali kadhaa wende ujijibiwe mwenyewe. So, the first the first uh, the Bible the Bible presents these four cases of doubt. Satan that is Genesis, Genesis chapter 3 verse 4. So tunangalia the Bible presents these four causes of doubt. Number one is Satan, Genesis 3:4. Then unbelief, Yoni Luke chapter 1 verse 18 to 20. Then the word, worldly wisdom, le mafikira kidunia. Because at the end of the day tunategemea Mungu but wewe unakuja unajazia na mawazo yako. So you will have doubt. Then spiritual instability that comes from the book of James uh, chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. So tukiendelea hapo believing God's word. So these are the ways like to overcome or to, to for you to to to, to usikwe na doubt ama usikwe na shaka katika Mungu. Kitu ya kwanza pray diligently like pray every day pray and trusting in God because how you kesha itakuwaaje but what you do is just pray to God the next thing is reading the bible let your bible be your close friend whatever each and every day you kiamka asubuhi read a few of the verses pray upon that verse and the day will be good for you bana asifiwe a few of the scriptures zenye nenda kushare like for example job chapter 11 verse 7 to 8 I'm using the new bible translation can you solve the myst- the mysteries of god can you discover everything about the almighty such knowledge is higher than the heavens and who are you it is deeper than the underworld do you know so this verse is it's it's all talking about the spirit of god like the spirit knows what we really need ile shau nayo tayari anajua you just pray upon it and all will will work out but the moment okay the spirit of god intervenes or knows about your plan but at the end of the day you are trying to use your knowledge your your worldly worldly wisdom you may conflict with the spiritual matters of god bonus few another verse is uh, psalms 97:2 Psalms 97:2 Dark clouds surround him righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne So the rest of the bible verses are just talking about uh, utukufu kwa Mungu the spirit of the Lord like for example in John 7:17 anyone who wants to do the will of God will know whether my teaching is from God or is merely my own So the rest of the verses are trying just to to, to 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 emphasize that we should try try so long that we work according to the work of God. Ama tufanye mambo yetu kulingana na Biblia. But no, don't try it in your own things because the moment utakuwa na shaka for example in the Bible Thomas didn't believe Jesus amefufuka hadi akuja kadunga vidole zake kwa mkono. But we as Christian because we believe our sins were forgiven we believe jesus jesus christ is alive all we can do now is we believe we have faith no matter what ikwe mzito ama nyepesi you just have faith in the lord and pray upon it 
So my last question, uh, I will be asking like the first question, do you believe in des destiny? That is automatically will make it in life because God has good plans for you. Hii ni swali na kuachia ujiulize wewe mwenyewe. Kabla uzaliwe, God really knew your plan. Na baada ya kuzaliwa, can you be the president because Mungu ali purpose you will be the president? So that's my question for you. Do you believe in destiny that for whatever God had planned for you will come to pass or to be accomplished without you doing one, two, three? And the next question I will be going to ask you is, do you believe in God helps those who help themselves? Or God helps those who can't help themselves? So this question uh, sounds a rhetor a a rhetorical questions. So it's upon you to know. And if you understand the nature of the, or the, the spirit matters of God, it's upon you now who were interpreted upon your, the word of God. One as few so I'm just encouraging because the topic was what with doubt and doubt kitu ya kwanza nyaleta doubt ni fear if you have fear hautapendeza mungu na if you don't have faith you also you are not pleasing god because anything like the current situation right now anything small can distract you totally kabisa and you turn 180 degrees to whatever you are doing but the faith that you have whatever that small if for example many churches many churches are full because wanaamini huyo pastor akimwombea wanaenda kubarikiwa akiombewa biashara yake naenda kupanuliwa but what do you believe upon yourself can you pray for yourself mtu akiwa mgonjwa unaweza muombea so those are the things small things that you need to emphasize because yes tuko na ministries in church but when matters come into your hand can you handle it because last eh, last week i had to go through a really tough time by I really thank the support of the youth uh, from the church. It was kind of hard for me, but I really, really prayed upon it. Na mungu wa barikiwe, and be blessed. Amen.